Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a bit late with this review, but it kinda took a lot of time to get immersed in this game fully. Why was that? Well, let's find out. So, let's get into Tiny Tina. That sounded wrong. So, you like Borderlands, yeah? Well, if your answer is yes, then this is your game. Tiny Tina's Wonderland is a spin-off from Borderlands, but it is absolutely Borderlands. I'm using a lot of this word, Borderlands. Am I? Previously, for me at least, I didn't like the art style per se. Even when the first Borderlands game hit, I forced myself into playing it, and it kinda didn't leave any big impressions on me. Although the gameplay was awesome, but something about these colors and pastelic feel just didn't feel right. But I'd have to admit, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, damn, I always want to say Wonder Worlds, Wonder World, magic fills the air. has done it a bit better. It feels more full of stuff, there is more to kill and look at, plus the overall landscape always changes very often. Some places are bright and nice and some are dark and sinister. Uh, you have deserts, you have grasslands, you have cities and forests, caves, dungeons, and everything has a bit more color to it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I truly love the character creation in the beginning. Not only can you visually tune the looks, change the voice, and pick your height, weight, and body armor's color, you can actually choose your speciality and backstory as well. You can also mix two different hero traits when you level up far enough. So the progression is really fun, you earn skill and hero points. The latter can advance your critical damage, critical chance, healing, special attacks and so on, cooldown reduction and whatever. It's like every other RPG uh, with their stat point uh, thing and I mean it as a compliment, I really do. You have a separate skill tree for your specials and passives, but I'm not getting too deep into that, you will see as you play. What actually makes this game worthwhile is the gameplay, although it's not as fluid and precise as Far Cry and it's not as spongy as Destiny, meaning that you'll still enjoy the gunplay even when some enemies take too much hits and aiming weapons sometimes feel slow and aimless, since a lot of weapons are with tricky bullets, some shoot explosives, some spread bullets and some shoot waves of fire, so it makes it a bit difficult to aim, but it also makes it fun. You have hundreds, if not even thousands of different weapons, everyone with their own strengths and weaknesses and special bullets of course, although depending on the manufacturer they still look different and you can tell them apart. But what I don't like is that enemies level up with you, so <laughs> even if you get stronger you will never actually feel the might, and that's a big drag ball to be honest. Now story-wise, the story started out interesting, Dina is basically narrating the whole game since you as a newbie and some dudes are all playing Dungeons and Dragons like board game that comes to life as she tells the story, she is the game master after all. But at some point the story takes a strange turn as Tina loses control of the narration and the evil characters will grow sentient and self-aware. There are some fun jokes, moments and characters in the game, I remember one quest where you had to dig through a, a pile of poop. And I also love the character Carrot of Trivia, but about halfway through I didn't actually enjoy the story that much anymore. Whether I lost interest or there was too few cutscenes, but I discovered myself watching YouTube videos while grinding through the game, and to be honest last couple of days I wished that the game would end sooner. Uh, that's, that's no way to play, although 15 to 20 hours of gameplay still feels very long. I'm sure that the big contributor for this was definitely the lack of cutscenes and halted feel of progression, since when numbers go up uh, but nothing happens it's boring, so every time I equipped a new weapon to feel more powerful I actually felt that enemies were less spongy, uh, not that I was more powerful, if you know what I'm trying to say. I'm playing on PlayStation 5, but my DualSense controller didn't have any extra features to it. No adaptive trigger system, no rumble, just unrealized feature. Map in this game is huge, it's actually hundreds of interconnected mazes tied together with teleportation feature and grind. I find myself constantly evading paddles to run towards the mission objective, because getting stronger was not an option. But there are some sections of the game that feature this third person top down gameplay view, and it kinda ties together with different game sections and dungeons, and to be honest I think that this is my favorite part of this game, opening secret passages, collecting balls of the energy, and I don't remember their name, but you get the point, this view was awesome. Overall I like the direction where this game tried 
right to go. I like how everything looks graphically and colorfully, if that's a word. But somewhere it all falls flat. And I feel that it's more of a glorified DLC to Borderlands rather than a new title. I wish that I could say that this is the looter shooter of a decade, but it isn't. It definitely isn't. There are very little option settings in this game overall. You can basically double lonely between resolution and performance option. And to be honest, I can't tell the difference. At least there is a field of view setting which I suggest you do use. Still, I must add that the game is still riddled with glitches and performance issues. And I mean still, month after launch. Even on performance mode, the game sometimes drops to zero FPS, so I kinda teleport from one location to another, and it's not supposed to be teleportation, it's supposed to be walking. But I sometimes lose about 3 seconds of game time in between. Overall, the game is fun if you pick it up, you also need to remember that you can shut your brain off while playing it, so I give Dainy Tina's Wonderlands 6, uh, 6, yeah, 6 out of 10. I hope that you at least enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. As always, I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.